everybody, Hans here, and welcome back to another episode of our Hard Space Shipbreakers Wow series. So sit back and relax, grab a snack, and don't forget, you can be wanting to yell at your screen. This is coming after the last episode where we made a cool 2 million super easy. That was very rushed feeling, at least on my part. And I'm like, you know, we can do this better. So this is a how-to guide on breaking up the mackerel on easy and get an out of it the most benefit in a single day. That's right, you just wanna worry about one day building. But before we get right into it, a tip, advice. If you play free play, which I did just to get a few tweaks down, like what I wanna do, it just, it really does dismantle your equipment. Like my cutter went to zero because of free play. So just be aware of that. Just be aware of that. So let's uh, get to it. We're going to start a shift. Uh, no, no. So we can go an easy one. I'm just going to go. It has a little bit more days to it. And we'll do the transport one. Oh, no, you know, let's do the cargo because we want it to go quick. So, again, this is what you want to cut it up in one day. So, step one. Find the airlock. Airlock's on the right. Okay. So we're going to go left to right. Because you want to get the nice cells first. And to speed up, just tether to the ship and right click to reel yourself in. And we're going to go after the nice cells first. Because they are easy and give you quite a bit of cash and we're gonna go around in a circle that is why you wanted to make sure that oh my god <laughs> the airlock is okay so there goes the nacelles now we'll go into the airlock And you want this so you can depressurize, so we can get the core, or the reactor, Sound however you want to call it. Game close the reactor. Now be aware, this is early access, so there's going to be bugs, and all these methods might change. But for now, this is the best way to do it. Yay, repair kit. Sweet. We want to depressurize. And while that does, we are going to start clearing out the floorboards. So we want to drop the reactor. So having an open floor will make this easy. So I'm just going to do one side. And get that going down. We'll start cutting this. And so what I'm cutting these is so we can easily open up the back end. We're going as quickly as possible to get the most cash in a single day. So clear out the bottom. And then, okay, so there's the reactor. And we're going to drop it. There you go. Alright. So what we just did was open up this entire back end. You might not see it just yet, but give it a second. First we're going to take out the thruster cap. Oh, thank you. And drop the thruster down. And then this thing should go and pull. Salvage secured. And there goes the entire back end of the ship. Very nice, eh? And that'll give us quite a bit of cash. 
Now we're going to do the fuel pumps. Woo! Be very careful you don't actually open up the fuel lines. Now we are going to go after the power core or the power cell. That is always going to be on the opposite, well, okay, maybe not always, but 90% of the time, opposite end of where the airlock is. So when you have multiple of these lockers, utilizing the wide beam cutter, is very helpful but when you have like the coolant tank and power cord kind of want to be careful around that you don't want them to explode okay so that's popped out so we'll just go around you can always of course push the walls going around nice and easy caution tether supplies running low that is fine Right, this is just one day. Try to make all the money. Oh, well, oops, that was a waste of a tether. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Thank you. So those Morning. panels go in. Tether. Now we no longer have tethers. That is okay. That is okay. okay so there goes the coolant. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Now we take the power core. And in doing so, we should have all of our work orders now complete. Salvage well, look at that. Accepted. All right, now without any tether course, if you want to go back and purchase some, you can. I mean, there's a lot of salvage left with this ship. And we have eight minutes. Eight minutes, so i make as much money as possible. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. So now before I go in, I was just clearing out a few odds and ends of these soft crates. Right, now I am going to not only get oxygen, but also tethers. Again, do that peel, pull in. Woo! Helmet damage detected. Make sure you hit the brake. repair kits to avoid invalidating your warranty. Wait, we have warranties? <laughs> Welcome to Vendetron 9000. Okay. Oxygen level stabilizing. So we got our tethers. We got... And push us in. Break out. And these door panels are airlock consoles. Very pricey. You definitely want to make sure you get those salvaged. So these are the roof tiles. Okay, so food packs are worth 900 credits. Okay, you might be like, eh, it's 900 credits. It's still 900 credits, you guys. <laughs> Accidentally tethered the wall there. Okay, there goes the ceilings. They got more of the floors. Yep, make sure all the floors have been disconnected.
Let's get this off crates. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. There's that food. Oh, these are 900. I'm being sarcastic about taking the food. I mean, if you really want to, go right ahead. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, right, get those airlock panels. As I said, they're worth quite a bit of money. There's usually four on the ship. These atmospheric regulators, definitely pricey. We have one more of those. Yes, we do. So there should be at least one more in here. Ooh, a data drop. Oh. Well, oh god, electrical damage. we got electrical sh shock there. Well, I accidentally force pushed those things. Be careful about that. Ooh, we got music though. There's the other panel, and we have the atmospheric regular. Again, cheap monies. Very small, you can pull those things out. Now this is gonna be a little dangerous, is the power junction box. You wanna do this quick? There you go. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Oh, I just noticed the ship's called the Galactica. Huh. All right, so we'll get these side panels now. Then use your cutter. Well, I accidentally just cut that wall. Didn't definitely don't need to do that one. Yeah, because here's another cooler, which is worth quite a bit of money. Oh! Well, I accidentally shocked that. Okay, so be careful. Don't do that, you guys. Definitely did not mean that. But yeah, you basically cut these out. I didn't think I was close to that, honestly. Okay, should be all these are fully cut. Yep. Gonna go around. Start pulling those in. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Give me a second there, Tether. Tether supplies are low. That's fine. Eee. Tether that, because that's fully off. So this will get the next ceiling off. Nanocarbon's worth a very, very pretty penny. Okay, so now you have the cabin. This is just picking off and just free cash. We have two minutes. We're basically done. This is just getting free cash now. And you do not need to go back in. When the time, at least now, this is early access. So again, things will change. But for now, you do not need to go back in. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's just 
freak the heck out. Alright, so I didn't expect that thing to just jump like it did. So we have 50 seconds of oxygen, 30 seconds of staying in here. So you can literally stay here to the end. And there we go. Didn't need to worry. And we got 2.6 million credits, you guys. That is... I, okay, we lost a few things, which is kind of sad. But we still made 2.6 million. So that is how you easily, easily take apart two explosions. <laughs> a uh, macro, easy mode, right there. And you'll always get around 2.4, 2.5 million you guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little how to and taking a puppy. Macro on easy mode. Till next time. Later, alligator. Peace.